So the year is about 1987, and uh, I'm just a wee little lad in my bedroom playing guitar. And up to this point, I had been primarily doing like trying to play the glam rock thing and the Van Halen thing. But uh, my brother, my older brother Jim, brought this album called The Cult Electric, brought it to me, played it for me. <sighs> my mind was blown. I was, I loved it. It was so different from everything that was going on uh, at the time. It was just so raw. It was, it was just so rock and roll for lack of a better term. And at that time, a lot of people thought that rock was completely dying. It was just, it was all shredding all the time. I heard Billy Duffy's guitar tone on this album. Every, every song on this album, it's fantastic. Like, like if you are you the t if you're the type that doesn't generally listen to um, the entire album of a band, if you pull up the Cult Electric, you'll love every song on it. It's just fantastic. But but this particular song, I heard it. I heard the guitar, and it struck this gigantic nerve with me. And uh, even to this day, a lot of times I'll pick up a, a guitar, and this is the riff that I'll play. It's just that rock in your face riff. So uh, I believe Billy used, I think he actually, I don't know if he used a Gretsch or a Les Paul on it. I'm going to use a Les Paul. I don't have a Gretsch uh, or semi-hollow. Uh, and I think he used either a Plexi or, or JC Mate 800. It's conflicting stories. And uh, I sent a message to Billy, but I haven't heard back from him yet. So unfortunately, I don't know. If I hear back from him by the time we're done editing, this, before we're done editing this video, I'll throw it in the, in the video. But anyways, he was using a, a, a Marshall of some sort. Rumor is that it was all rented stuff. Just nailed the album and just rocked it out. Yeah, pretty fascinating, pretty great album. So let's try to chase this tone. Um, of course, I could use a Marshall or like the Friedman JCM 800 style amp or something. I have a, a Shaw Plexi over here that um, fantastic Plexi sound, but not everyone is going to have a, have a Plexi like that. So I thought, you know what, let's, let's try to chase this using pedals. Uh, the pedal that I ended up choosing was my Plexi Drive Deluxe, simply because um, I'm really familiar with it, obviously. I knew what I kind of needed to do. I needed to take off a bit of bottom end, quite a bit of bottom end. Uh, the isolated track is, is does not have that much bottom end, has quite a bit of treble in it, doesn't have a whole lot of gain to it, actually. Uh, but it, the, the beginning part is left and right, so two stereo guitar parts. A cool thing about it, I've noticed on, when I was doing some research for this, people were asking, um, I think it was on like an Axe FX form, they're trying to figure out how to get the air around it. Uh, a big trick to that is room, room mics. Uh, you can use room impulse responses. Uh, so that, in fact, I'm using Celestion impulse responses on this uh, and the Celestion room impulse response. And it gives that right amount of air. You got to mix it in a little hotter, hotter than you normally would. And it just sounds right. It gives you that air to that guitar sound. So cool little feature. If you're into impulse responses, try that. It's a fun little trick. Let's go ahead and try to chase some of this tone. Uh, I'll show you some of the isolated tracks and uh, some of the parts in the isolated tracks that I particularly found were extremely interesting and very cool. And uh, we'll jump into it. Let's go. All right, so let's take a look at the isolated tracks of this. Uh, first of all, let's uh, let's go through the basics. We got the awesome drum sound. So that's the great rock drum sound. Uh, now, let's listen to a bit of the bass guitar. So yeah, it's got a little bit of dirt on it, a little bit of grind, sounds great. A little bit of the vocals. Check this one! Fell to the red room because she was there. Oh, 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 oh. Scott and Woman, she got me in fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said to all those things that you do to me. Do you know what I mean, boy? Oh, man, I love it. Just that. 
is a song. A uh, little cool part here. Um, in the context of the song, I never noticed this part before, but it's kind of cool. So it's over the chorus, right? And let's listen to what's going on. Never noticed there was clapping there. I mean, makes sense in the context of everything, yeah. Yeah, I get it. It works. It works great, man. Okay, and for arguably my favorite part, uh, the guitar, right? Let's listen to um, the amazing tone that Billy gets here. So if you listen, I talked about this a little bit earlier. If you listen, you can hear the room ambient mic. And I'll show you that whenever I do my bit on the guitar. When you bring that room ambient mic in, it's uh, it, it gives that air to it. Okay, so now we're at uh, basically the chorus, right? Something I noticed. The main part of the song, the, the very beginning, the... That part, standard tuning, not a big deal. Once we get to the chorus, there's uh, additional guitars added that are not in standard tuning. They're a few cents up. I, I don't know why. Again, I uh, sent a message to Billy, but I have not heard back from him yet. I just noticed that I was trying to recreate. I'm like, this is a few cents off, like completely. It just didn't work at all staying in standard tune. But in the context of the song, it works perfectly. I'll show you what part I'm talking about. And it goes back into standard. The the main guitar parts back right on 440. So I thought that was cool. That, that was awesome. I I would love to hear the backstory behind that. Maybe uh, you know maybe I thought this would sound awesome if this is not perfect. This it's you know just tune it close and let's make it work. I don't I don't know, but it works great within the song. Oh now let's get into some of the solo stuff. Uh, the little licks are really cool because. When you, it, it's hard panned on one side and the other side is a lot of room ambience and uh, in, in, in the other speaker. So I'll, I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so it's got, and it's got some delay on it too. So let me pan that hard left. Um, so hopefully you're listening to this on iBuds and not like your little iPhone speaker because you won't be able to tell what I'm trying to show here. But listen to uh, just the echo part of the little lick. So I thought that was, I thought that was extremely fascinating. Um, I just love those little tidbits. Uh, and it does that for, uh, the, for the first couple licks. back into the chorus, of course. All right, so let's go to the guitar solo and check this out. Um, fantastic, it's not it's not a virtuoso thing, which I love. Uh, in, in, a sea, in, a, in a time of a sea of guitar players who are shredding like crazy and just doing all these, you know, finger acrobatics, you have Billy Duffy here who just rocks your ass off, basically. Like he really just, he just brings the rock. He does, yes. <laughs>
And so right there, that's when uh, the second guitar comes in. So yeah, oh, just awesome part. And then we get towards uh, the end of the song and there's another, out, there's another big long guitar solo there. Now within the context of the song, it sounded like, it just sounds like a lot going on. When I, once I isolated, I'm like, oh wow, that's cool. So let's uh, let's isolate that guitar a little bit and So yeah, that's, um, you know, and it, the song itself fades out. It's a very cool ending. I, and I noticed like on some of the solo stuff, it sounds like he, like, like he's hitting it with a boost of some sort. Um, might be a tube screamer. I don't know. The, if I had to guess, it's probably like a tube screamer type thing hitting the front end of that plexi. And uh, all right. So let's, uh, let's try to achieve it. Come on. All right, so I'm getting ready to turn the gain up on this guy. Actually, I already did. I'm going to roll the gain to about right there, so I'm not changing anything else because this part for the for the chorus requires a little more gain. Then once we get to the solo, I'm going to roll that back. Got that boost all the way up. It's a tube screamer style boost, so um, you know I could put a tube screamer in front of it and get pretty much the same sort of thing. So let's go ahead and roll that back up there, and we'll do it. All right, so here's uh, here's my guitar part. You heard at the beginning of the video me playing it. I'll play it again real quick, uh, layered, and then uh, I'll play. We'll fade into the chorus, and uh, we'll do the solo. So here's what we got so far. Okay, so for the the uh, chorus here, I'm actually I've tuned up just uh, I don't know four maybe three cents or so. Not real sure. I basically did it by ear. So I'm um, I'm a little bit higher in above 440, but that's what Billy did. So that's what we're gonna do. And here you go. All right, so now let's jump to the fun stuff. Let's uh, hit the, uh, let's go to the solo section. I have both channels on the Plexi Drive Deluxe and uh, we'll run through that real quick. I'll do my best. So let's compare what we have so far and uh, finally, I guess you could say. 
All right, here is uh, here are the tracks that I did. Actually, let's let's start with Billy's stuff. Let's start with his stuff. And let's go to my stuff here. Back to Billy's tone. So, fairly close. I mean, pretty close for a 9 volt pedal, I would say. Uh, let's go on to uh, the chorus here. Billy's part goes like this. And my part would uh, be like this. And the guitar solo, pull my guitar solo out, and this is all Billy here. All right, so that's Billy, and uh, let's take Let's take him out, put me in. Yeah, so very cool. Um, anyways, I hope you guys like this sort of video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I know a lot of you out there have, uh, have played this song, and and I've seen people ask me about this type of song, actually this particular song, and this particular tone. So uh, I thought it might be entertaining and fun to do that. So I, I would love to hear what I'm trying to say, I guess, in, in that shows. I would love to hear what stuff you guys use, uh, you guys and gals, to uh, get this sort of tone. And, uh, you know, whether it's pedals, whether it's amps, whatever, whatever it may be, I would love to hear your thoughts on what you guys use to get it. And uh, hope you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll see you next week with a new video. Thanks for watching.